Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to talk about the Fury line of props from Mercury. Um, you know, I've tried a lot of different props over the years with my Mercury engines because I, I, I just wanna squeeze out that last bit of performance uh, out of each boat. And really the gold standard has been the, Mer the Fury line of props uh, for Mercury. They initially introduced the three blade uh, back in the day and you know, it was touted as the fastest prop and also just overall uh, one of the best handling props. And it still is to this day. It's still the, the majority of people that are running Mercury engines and some other engines run the Fury line because they're just great props. Um, but a lot of people don't uh, know about the four blade uh, Fury. The Fury 4 is, is a prop that is not as, as common to see uh, in tournaments. Uh, and honestly, I think it is an outstanding prop overall. And so I wanted to kind of share some of my experiences with this prop versus the three blade. So let's go ahead and talk about the, the Fury four blade. So initially Mercury came out with the, the three blade and this was this is what they were running on for, for, uh, for many years. And then they recognized that bass boats were kind of getting heavier and heavier. So you, they, you know, you had those those like 20 foot, 21 foot rigs and even 22 foot rigs that had a lot of weight in them. People were adding more electronics, power poles, that sort of thing, and that created you know an issue for top end speed because obviously the heavier your boat, the more drag you're going to experience. So they wanted to offer a prop in the Fury line that created more lift. So a, a prop that could lift your hull out of the water even with a heavy load and, and, and maintain a good top end speed uh, because of that reason. And so they introduced the Fury 4 prop, which does exactly that. It, it does a great job at lifting heavier loads out of the water, so heavier boats out of the water, and it also has great slow speed maneuverability. That's one of the things that I really love about the Fury 4. So forever I was, I was running you know, three blade props, and um, you know, I never thought that, that it would be a big difference going to a four blade for certain situations. But I started running the four blade Fury when I would go up to um, you know, big water. So if we'd fish like the Great Lakes or something like that, the thing that you want for big rough water is you want to make sure that you have uh, you know, extreme control over the, the, your, your speed, so your throttle. Uh, so when you're battling like three to six foot waves, you want to be able to slow down on a dime if you kind of misjudge the next big wave and like, you know, how much throttle you need to, to give it. And you also need to be able to speed up real fast to be able to, you know, get over the top of that, that wave. So you want a prop that is very, very responsive. The four blade fury, you'd be amazed at how quickly you can stop, slow your boat, you know, if you, you misjudge that next big wave, you can slow it down real fast, and then you can also speed it up real fast. So the responsiveness, especially at slower speeds, is really, really good with the four blade, um, which is why I always switch out my, my prop from a three blade to a four blade when I'm going to really, really big water, or at least on those really rough days. So I might be running a three blade on like Lake Champlain when it's real flat and calm, uh, but when you know I'm expecting a, a day where it, we're gonna see some, some pretty nasty waves, I'll switch over to the, the, the four blade because of that reason, because I can really maneuver in those waves and stay dry uh, much better with this prop. Same thing for, you know, if I'm going to like a river system or like the, the Delta, something like that, where, where you've, got, uh, you've got to have really good slow on plane performance where you can, you can make tight turns and things like that while on plane, the uh, four blade does really, really good with that um, because I can maintain, uh, you know, being on plane at like 22 miles an hour or something ridiculous like that and not have any porpoising at all, which, you know, with a three blade is hard to do. Some holes handle slow speeds better than others. My 921 Elite Phoenix does an excellent job at slow speed performance, even with the three blade but some of the other holes that I've been running over the years, 
uh, the four blade was the only prop that would that would reduce the the porpoising overall. And so if you have a boat that has a lot of porpoising at slower speeds, the four blade, I, I think that you you could eliminate almost all of that that um, uh, that porpoising with a four blade because of the way that it keeps that bow pretty you know lifted and steady. Um, but yeah, overall, you know, I've been running uh, both of these props for a long time. I usually, under 80% of the situations, I'm gonna be running the three blade and keep the four blade in my bilge as my, my backup. Um, but again, if I'm down at Sam Rayburn and the next day it's gonna be blowing 25 miles an hour, I want to be running the four blade prop because I want to have that, that peak handling uh, in those those rougher uh, water situations. So, um, and not only that, if you got a heavy, heavy load, a heavy boat, you might actually squeeze out some more speed with the four blade just because you're able to lift that bow more than you would with the three blade. So it all depends on the boat that you're running, the way you've got it set up, how much weight you've got in it, um, you know, and you've honestly just got to test both of these props against each other in different pitches to find the right one for you. So anyways, guys, those are just some of my thoughts on the Fury four blade prop and the situations that I use it versus the, the three blade. Overall, both of these props are awesome. You can use them in all different situations. I prefer to have one of each so I can, I can fine tune uh, my boat handling based on the conditions. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about uh, my opinions on the Fury 4 and let me know what prop you run on your boat. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'm gonna see you out on the water. Take care, guys.